welcome back, I'm Julianne. I'm here to do my reaction video for episode 13 of season 4 of The 100. Uh, this is the season 4 finale. Like I have said on pretty much all the reaction videos I did for this entire season, um, I have read the spoilers, the leaks for the season finale, so I pretty much have an idea on what's gonna happen. But I don't know if the leaks, uh, uh, the the script that was leaked back before the season premiere, uh, I don't know if that's the last scene or is a scene, you know, uh, in the episode or not. But it's pretty much clear that the spoilers, the leaks were real. Uh, I don't know why they did that, honestly. But anyways, uh, so I hope that I can actually enjoy the the. Uh, episode. Uh, I'm gonna give my general thoughts on the episode and on the entire season uh, at the end. I, I think that, you know, by judging uh, until like the 12 episodes that I have already watched, this isn't, hasn't been bad. It's very repetitive though with having, you know, uh, uh, pretty much the same storylines over and over again, but they do it in a different way. Uh, so, yeah, but I will talk more about that uh, at the end uh, on the review part. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction video. If you do, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to see more reaction videos. I do reaction videos for a lot of shows and I will be doing reaction videos for a lot more shows So this is not the end uh, For reaction videos here on the channel. I will be reacting to Orphan Black season 5 I'm gonna react to Winona Earp season 2. I'm gonna try to react to Orange is the New Black season 5 uh, What else I'm gonna react to? Oh, I'm gonna do a bunch of Netflix shows, but there's a twist on how I'm gonna do them. So I'm gonna ask you guys, but that will be in a separate video. Um, Shadow Hunters, I'm also gonna be doing Shadow Hunters. But if you, if you have any shows recommendation, especially if they are new shows, please let me know on the comment section down below and I will check them out. Also, I was thinking about reacting to some uh, The Hundred Cracks. So if you have any good uh, The Hundred Cracks, Especially if they are like funny, like uh, Kalexa versus Belarg or something like that, where it's funny and I know that that will be amazing. Uh, you guys know that I don't ship Belarg and I will never ship Belarg because I don't see them as. So far, I don't see them as a romantic relationship. I'm sorry. You, I mean, this doesn't mean that the people who ship Belarg because I have actually talked to a lot of Belarg shippers here in my channel who are really nice. They're not compared to the crazy ones that uh, are on Twitter sometimes. Like, uh, I have talked to several uh, Belarg sh uh, shippers who are really respectful and really cool. Uh, but the fact that I don't ship Belarg and I never will and I don't see a romantic connection between them, I just see a really good friendship, that doesn't mean that you guys can ship Belarg or that Belarg uh, or that you guys are crazy for shipping them or uh, you shouldn't ship them. No, of course you should. I mean, everyone can ship everyone. I ship uh, Clark with Raven. I ship Clark with Nyla. I, well, Clark and Nyla are actually canon, but uh, I ship Princess Mechanic, like I said. I ship C Mechanic, you know, Luna and Raven. So you can ship whatever you want. You can. I can be respectful with the people who ship Belark, but don't ask me to ship it and don't ask me to say, oh my god, Belark are talking like... I see Belark as a really amazing friendship. I don't... I have never seen any romantic. Well, I did back in like season one, I, I it, just because it's the norm, you know? I was like, oh, this is what, what television always fits you, you know? Oh, he's the main boy, she's the main girl, so they are probably gonna get together at some point. That's how I saw it, but then... When she was with Finn, I was like, oh, okay, that Belark is just friendship. And then Kalexa, Belark is, ship, is just a friendship. And I have always think that. But yeah, anyways, at least, you know what? I'm proud of myself because I am able, I, I was able because I hated Bellamy on season three. But then I actually gave him a chance. And I think that he has made some, like, amazing progress this season. So I'm really happy that I like 
Bellamy again. I hope that they don't screw him up in this episode. But yeah, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction video. And without further ado, let's just enjoy this season 4 finale for the 100th. I'll be waiting. Under the floor. Aww. You're not that little girl anymore. Aww, but I, I'm glad that they are back in good terms. What is it all? I'm not sure I'm up for this, Belle. Yes, you are. Apparently you're the new hitter. This Look is just stupid. Like I know what I'm doing. Just because I want to fight. I like that because you saved them. Yeah. It won't last. You gave people an opportunity. I'm not a leader. It should be you or Clark or... Oh, stop. You are! You know, what the hell? What is she doing to herself? Come on out! Winning a fight. You're Prometheus. Stealing fire from the gods and giving it back to the human race. Okay, that's reaching too far, but whatever. <laughs> Prometheus got chained to a rock. So I think he got his lever. Thanks for ruining my metaphor, <laughs> I love the Blake siblings. I love you, big brother. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, there you go, Bellamy. That's what he wanted all season. That's what he was looking for. Oh. I love you, too. Bellamy. Oh, she didn't you. hear that. Oh, that sucks. Oh, my God, that sucks. Yeah. Poor Bellamy. Can you hear me? No. No. Me. No. no. Come on. Oh. Aww. May we meet again, bitches. You will meet again. You, uh -huh. May we meet again? Yes. Did I just say that? May we meet again? Say it, bitch. May we meet again. Yeah. Aww. That is so sweet. I love the Blake ceilings. I love them both now. Yes. Did they have her? I'm sorry. Aww. <laughs> Sucks for you, Clark. Aww. But you did say goodbye. Aww. But large shippers might be like, oh my god, they love each other. They don't! There's a friendship! Anyways. What the fuck happened now? What the hell? And drop. It's time to what? To close it? Why will it turn to violence? People need to just figure things like have a schedule or something. Ninja. I'm not a commander. Yeah, I know that. The time of the commanders is past. The time of the flame is past. Really? This is your time. It's hammer time. Let me help you. Okay, Indra. Well, uh, what? Oh, what? shit that Alexa had here? Do not fuck with me with any Alexa's memory, okay? I would just, just like, no. She? What the hell? Why is she wearing that? Octavia? Come sky cool. it. We are all the remains of the human race. Why is she wearing that? If we stand together. I hate this. Are. One crew. Oh, Nyla, you're gonna get safe. Oh, so, there's the new Klexa? I can deal with that. I think. Ah. Oh, look, she's also there, Gaia. Oh my god, I will be so claustrophobic. Like, I will be like, I need to get out! Provaya, get to me! That is bullets! Okay, but they are under the bunker! Shout! Provaya. Ah, but they're okay. Oh, look at Becca. Becca? No, Becca. Becca. What? Oxygen generator from the lighthouse. Turn a cockpit designed for two into one that can carry eight. Oh my gosh, she's so smart. Enough food to keep us from starving in space while we wait for. Why don't you tell us what we have to do to live? That's good. He's such a good leader. So they have an hour and a half. Hurry the fuck up! Oh my god. Okay, this episode is starting really good. Eight people alone in space for five years, and one of them is John Murphy. I should have drank the tea. 
Yeah, what the hell? So he thinks that he's better than Mark Murphy? What the hell, Monty? Is he the new Jasper? I need to hate him. <laughs> Echo feels so out of place. Right? Two months until the LG. Every stupid thing you did. It was to protect your sister. Yeah, it was. She didn't always see that. But I did. You have such a big heart, Bellamy. Heart. People follow you. You inspire them because of this. What? But the only what is way this? to make sure we survive is if you exist too. What is this? What about you for that? They're saying goodbye? Raven's premonition came true. What? You're not gonna die! What the hell? <laughs> Did the two characters just die? What the fuck happened? What is it? I'm not going anywhere. What? Computer, turn it on sequence. No, don't give up! She's giving up? Come on, come on, Bellamy, you can do it. Come on, Raven, just calm down. Don't doubt yourself right now. Someone did something, I don't know. Come on. Come on, Bellamy, you can do it. I'm Allie. Yeah, don't doubt yourself. You're damn right. You don't need Allie on the arc. Yeah, I know. Yes, if she can do it, so can we. Raven. The ring? What ring? We'll never make it back to Polis on time, and the radios are dead. We have something better than radios. A satellite tower. What? You three, back in the cockpit. Finish those restraints. You two, helmets on. You're with me. Equus, like, yes, I'm gonna rebuild Here. some shit that I don't know nothing about. <laughs> hey, everybody. I love that Echo at least is acting like she, like she's a fish out of water. <laughs> Put the gloves on again! Put it again, bitch! Bring that on for you, okay? What? Okay. That was really good. 45 minutes. Hey, Hurry up! Hold your hands, okay? I'll do it. Murphy's a great person. He's a realistic. Okay, leave Monty back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wake up! Now it's not our time to pass out! God damn it! Monty! He must be in a lot of pain. Just slap the bitch. Sorry. He's going. Really? Yeah, you have to go. Babies. Well, tell me too. No, he's not so much my baby, but. The graphical flash screen, that's how it looks. <laughs> Raven looks so weird sun, with that. It's sun. And the power up signal will turn on the lights. Wait, how is that a good thing? She gets to take her space back. Yeah. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. Hey! What the fuck is that? Oh, Morphe! I thought it was like some crazy ground that tried to kill them. Morphe? Behind. Okay, so the spoilers were right. I know everything that's gonna happen right now. Please don't fall! Lori! Echo! Where the hell are you? Where's Echo? Can I start shipping Raven with, with Echo? What is that? Oh, the suit. Echo! What the fuck? Man, she's hot. Uh, to do something. She just feels like she's out of place. What? No! Don't paint your face. Why? That's war paint, right? Wake up, bitch. Echo, she better doesn't do anything crazy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, hurry. Help him. Yeah, I did. It's back in the lab. We need to... What? Come on. Another time for the gayness, please. 
Yeah, yeah this is the moment she realized she's not gonna be back. Follow me. You can hear me. Don't worry. She's not, I mean, I know what's gonna happen, like I said, but also at the same time, I don't know what it's gonna happen to Clark. So I hope that Abby's <laughs> What? I already read this, so. Is, is it really? Is your gold play really over? Oh, come on. Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna come do the. Oh. This is what she has known, come you know? Hang up. Oh. Poor thing. Come on, <gasps> no! No, don't do that! Just to walk outside? Get out, Bellamy. Go back to the sky where you belong. I belong nowhere. No, do honey, that. don't do don't that. Coward. I betrayed you. Every minute of every day for the next five years. Bellamy is such a good I'm not person. Gonna lie to you. I still don't trust you. What is this shit? <laughs> Raven is like, this is finished. <laughs> Two minutes to launch. <laughs> Raven is like, Stop with this nonsense! Come on, Echo! Let's go. Oh my gosh, she's so hot! Put this back on now. She's gonna save her friends. Oh, Clarky. Oh god damn it! Just hold on, bitch! What the hell? Oh my god, Prime Fire. Prime Fire is here. Two seconds. You guys are fucked. I know, Raven. She's gonna make a dramatic entrance. She's she won't. Radiation's honey. already affecting the avionics. Come on, come on, go, go. It's not enough. Aww. He doesn't want to leave her behind. Oh, that is really sad because they don't know. They think that the blood is not gonna work. Is the blood not gonna work? I didn't read that part. Aww. Look, he holds on to the last second. Aww, poor Bellamy. That's her friend. Can we give her another minute? No, I don't think you can. We're out of time. This is what Clark would want us to do. Aww. Don't grab his hand, he's in pain. Harper. He's not gonna show up. May we meet again. I'm sure you will. She's the lead actress. She can die. Keep going! Aww. So she's by herself now. I really hope that bloodshed works. I, I bet Echo is like freaking out right now. Echo? Echo! What the hell? Why did I keep calling her Becco? Look at Echo. <laughs> oh shit, that is really cool though. I thought that shit dropped down. The ring is dark. Oh my god, that is so cool. <laughs> look at it, look at uh, <laughs> The two grounders are the ones who are most excited about this. Like, they're like, witchcraft! Oh my god, that is so cool though. Imagine if she drops the backpack. <laughs> She won't, don't worry. What does she have to do now? <laughs> Look at Raven. She's she's giving her space but look. That is so cool. Look at Raven. Oh <laughs> easy girl. 
just wait, wait a second. She's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. Come on, you can do this. Yeah, yeah, she will. God damn it. What a hero. What is she gonna do though? Oh, she's trying to look for a signal. Oh, I ship them. Oh, 
Bellamy. Oh, baby. Raven. Six years and seven days later. Later. Like, how specific? There is she! Oh my god! Bitch! So you were dead! For a minute, don't worry, I trusted your blood. Oh, she cut her hair! And she looks like she has shower! So she survived, that is so cool. So there's air there. I love her hair. Bellamy, you can hear me. You're alive. It's been 2,199 days since Prime Fire. Aww, she's been counting. I still do this every day. Maybe it's my way of staying sane. Aww. Not forgetting who I am. Oh, Clarky. Who I was. Aww. And she has, like, red hair. It's been safe for you to come down for over a year now. Uh, Why haven't you? And does that mean that the people in the bunker the are out? I haven't made contact with them either. So they're still inside the bunker. Hope they're not dead. So anyway, they're the new Mount Weather. Still have hope. Tell Raven to aim for the one spot of green and you'll find me. Aww. The rest of the planet, from what I've seen, basically sucks. <gasps> They're coming back? They're coming back? Are they coming back? Never mind. I see you. Yes! They're coming back! Oh my god! In a happy ending? Shut the streak, Napira. What? Time to wake up. What's this? What? What is that? Who's that? The lap, Nami. Who is this girl? It's a girl, right? What the hell is that? They're not... What the fuck are they? Who the... What the fuck is that? Maddie? Rifle? Who the fuck are the... What? Elegious? Okay, I'm guessing those are not your friends. Prisoner transfer. Shut up, Manny. So, who is that? Your daughter, Clark? Do you want to tell me something? So, wait. Clark is technically a grounder now. There are people inside of the bunker, which they are the mountain man. And now we have new people coming from the sky. And technically, the eight people that went to space, or seven, I don't know how many were, they are what? Yaha? Or something? Talking about repetitive? Anyways. Okay, guys, that was the end of the season four for the hundred. I'm gonna say, despite the uh, leaks, I was actually able to enjoy the episode because at least the leaks weren't exactly the last scene. It was previous to that. It was one of the things, you know? So I'm glad because I actually enjoyed the episode. I enjoy every single character. Uh, and the episode, I think this episode was one of the best episodes on the season because it did have a lot of action, it did have a lot of character development, it did have a lot of closure for a lot of things uh, uh, on the season, so I'm glad. We had Octavia who is now with that Lexa thing, which I don't like because I don't like that, but at least we saw Octavia, we saw Gaia, uh, what is the name of... Uh, Indra and we also saw Nyla inside of the bunker which is great uh, so they give us a closure for the bunker and we didn't see like the adults we didn't see uh, 
Kane, Abby, or Jaha, but it's fine, I mean, I guess it's fine. Uh, but they they must be a little bit older now, six years after, you know, six years, seven days. Uh, I, I wonder why they decided to use that specific time, because they it wasn't just a six-time jump, but it was a specific six years, seven days, which is kind of crazy, but anyway, so... Um, I like the fact that the episode was full of action, even though I knew what was gonna happen, I was still on the edge of my seat. Uh, I haven't enjoyed an uh, episode of The 100 as much as I enjoyed this one, so kudos to them for doing that, although I do feel that having... it feels like a reset, you know? The entire land is screwed up, everything is bad, and now you have like the people in the bunker who are basically the mountain man again you have Clark that is she's technically a grounder and she find she found another not Blita which is like six years so that little when she found her that she must be a little girl and that's why she is so like it looks like she's like a mom to her you know and wake up my little not Blita and things like that and it was really sweet to see uh, what is her? Uh, Clark, with this new light on her. You know, she was always the hero, the one who I need to kill everyone to protect my people. Now she doesn't have to protect anyone, but this little girl. And you feel like that connection with the little girl, like like is a a daughter to her. You know, and that is so so beautiful, and I love that. You know, I love that, I love that it gives, you look at Clark and it doesn't look like she has the demons she used to have, you know, and, and that's nice, uh, but I'm guessing things are gonna go to shit <laughs> eventually, and actually with the arrival of this new ship, we, which uh, it says prisoners, so I don't know who the fuck they are, because I thought, and this is the thing that they always do, they say, oh, you have to say it's a human race, and that's why they decided to have a thousand, like, twelve hundred people inside of the bunker to save the human race, and then Clark survives, this little girl survives, the people that are now in the sky, which they are, again, sky people, are there surviving and now we have a bunch of people coming down to earth again which technically if they are prisoners is the same thing that happened with the hundred that came back that they were also prisoners they were also criminals and they were sent back to earth to see if earth was uh, you know good for everyone so it's and that's the one thing I don't like about the hundred right now because they, it feels like they can come up with new ideas on how to, you know, have fresh starts for the season, you know. It's always the grounders, the sky people, the mountain man. And now we are back to the same thing. Even though we haven't had the mountain man since, I think, the like, season three, the end of season two, but it ended, like, on season three, right? No, season two. Uh, so we haven't, well... Technically season three because they like Sky Crew was using the mountain man, the mountain and then uh get a blow it up. So we had had some some sort of uh uh mention of the mountain uh until season three and then all season three like they forgot about it, they it wasn't a, a good place to be, it was destroyed, and now with the people in the bunker that haven't come out uh, I'm guessing that uh, the air is maybe toxic to them as well as it was for the people in the mountain. Uh, so they are my, maybe they're gonna find, you know, a, a way. Because now the people on the Ark, they have to come back with the help, you know, to get help, the uh, night blood to make the people in the bunker night blood so they can walk on the earth, right? So it is very rep it it is very uh, repetitive, you know. One thing is that you do parallels between the seasons, 
and uh, you do this, that, it's, it's fine, you know? Uh, it's cool when you see parallels, but when you see the same story over and over again told in different perspectives, it's just so stupid. You can do, they, ha they could have done so many things with the grounders. You could have had, like I have said, you could have had Jasper going into one of the clans and actually becoming one of them and not just the the like Octavia that basically now she was three crew and now there are no crews because they are one crew or something like that that's what Octavia said um, so I think that they wasted a lot of potential with the grounders I think they had a really good potential of making the grounders such an interesting storyline and they just wasted that okay uh, and now we are having Sky people coming back, which they I'm guessing they're gonna be immune to to whatever is happening on Earth with radiation or things like that because they have lived on on the sky for so long. So it's just the same as it was in season one. So and that's the part that I don't like the repetitive storylines. That's just I think it's stupid. I think that they could do better. Uh, but I mean, I'm gonna judge a season five when it comes and review it and say my opinion. I, you know, with the hundred, it's such. It has been such a journey for me to navigate the the, the hundred reactions because the hundred is not one of the most popular uh, shows here on my channel. Supergirl, Real Liars. They all are really popular here and I do get a lot of support and I do get a lot of feedback from, from those shows. Uh, but The 100 has been such a weird uh, show for me to react and review uh, because you guys know, like everyone knows that I am a, I was a Klexa shipper. I'm still a Klexa shipper. Uh, I will forever be one. Um, so I am one of the few Klexa shippers still here on YouTube who did reaction videos for the hundred. One of the few, I say, there's a lot of other amazing reactors who did the entire season, who actually make shorter videos and more entertaining videos than I do, probably. Uh, but it, it has been so weird for me to react and review this show because I, I have encountered so many different opinions of the show. But one thing that I have learned during this entire season with the hundred and with YouTube here with my reactions is that I always have said the truth I always have said what I feel and because this is my channel ultimately so all the opinions all the reviews all the reactions that you're gonna get are based on my perspective and that doesn't mean my perspective is wrong it doesn't mean you guys are right it doesn't mean any of that it means that I am able to talk to people and I have encountered a lot of people that are really respectful and they point out when I'm wrong when I'm making like when I'm judging the characters in the wrong way and we ha we've been able to have conversations that are so deep and so amazing because I have learned to to listen to other people you know uh, I have a friend who he watched my my videos for the hundred and he kept telling me uh don't hate on Bellamy and I was like I don't hate Bellamy but until he proves he's right and that he is changed I'm not gonna support him just because everyone else likes him that's not how it works it doesn't work for me I don't care how many dislikes this video can get uh because I am telling YouTube and this channel for me has always been my way to communicate what I feel. I for no reason will change whatever I feel and whatever I say just to get more, more likes. You can dislike the video, I don't care. It's it's fine, it's your opinion. You're, you have the right, like I leave the uh, the option to give a thumbs, thumbs up and thumbs down for a reason. It's open, you can do it. Like the last video I think it has like more dislikes than likes. It's fine, you can do that. I, I, don't, I don't mind. You can leave your opinion. When you are respectful I do answer back. When you're not I just ignore people who uh, comment really stupid things. 
I just ignore them because I don't I don't want to waste my time. Um, but I appreciate the people who are here because they actually do want to hear me and they want to have a polite conversation with me. And that's amazing. That's I mean that's something that I have learned so much uh, from this reaction videos for the hundred because the hundred is a really they touch a subject that are really delicate and with the entire Klexa thing uh, it left people in a really bad shape and I don't blame Klexa shippers who, who stopped watching but uh, for me I, I love science fiction you know I love science fiction uh, and this show it is science fiction and I like the way they have redeemed some characters, Bellamy included I, I have had some troubles with Clark in this season but at the end of the day, she's a hero, Bellamy's a hero and a leader, and I I just love the fact that he did it for himself. He didn't do it because Clark was there to whisper things in his ear and tell him what to do. No, he was doing things because he finally understand what position he has on the world and how he can make things better, and that was just amazing character development for Bellamy. And like I said, at the beginning with my reactions is that I was gonna be fair to Bellamy. If he proved himself then I wouldn't have reasons to hate him. And I don't hate him now. I think that he made mistakes like everyone else have made mistakes and now he is a better leader because of that. And I don't like, one thing that I don't like is when people try to justify what he did. Uh, with killing the 300 people. I know that he probably didn't kill the 300 people, but he was involved in that. So it's 300 people in general. I don't mean that he killed exactly 300 or 299 because Indra just uh, survived. Um, but the fact is that don't say uh, that he didn't do it or that he wasn't his fault because the character actually owns up to that. The character is who he is right now because of what happened. It's part of, like, it's a sad part and it's a really tragic part of his arc, but it is part of his arc. He did kill 300 people and he owns up to that and now he didn't, he, he's not making the same mistakes. He's a great leader now. I hope that they continue doing and writing him better and not better, but with this, like, as good as they have written him on this season. So, yeah. But I, what I was trying to say with the whole comments and dislikes and likes, uh, I'm glad that I have done reaction videos for the 100. I'm happy that I have done it. I'm happy with the outcome, with uh, having uh, people liking and disliking the video. Uh, it, has, it has taught me a lot. I, I, am, I'm really, I really appreciate all the comments, even the bad ones, you know. Not the ones where you guys insult me, that like those are blocked and probably you are blocked, the people who just, I don't know, put rude comments, you are probably blocked and I'm glad. But the people who just, you know, uh, uh, leave an opinion without being uh, uh, rude, like uh, by all means, just leave your comment because we don't need to have the same uh, um, um, opinions and I'm glad that we have been able to talk. So I will react to the season 5 trailer when it comes out, I'm guessing next year, um, and I will react to season 5 of The 100 because I'm gonna be here until the show is over or if they kill Raven, I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I'm gonna continue doing reaction videos for the 100 when the time comes. Um, I don't know how well they're doing in ratings. The last time I checked, they were really, really bad, but the CW seems to not care about that, so it's fine. Um, what else? Yeah, thank you so much for all the support. And also let me know what, like, overall, what are you, your thoughts on season 4? Did you like the season? Which season is your favorite? I think for me, it's season 2. Well, I like season 1, well, kinda. But I like season 2 because I, I honestly, I love the Grounders. I love the Grounders storyline. And, well, Lexa was part of season 2, but uh, I think that 
Kulexa was better on season 3 until they kill her. But uh, season 2 with the grounders and when Lincoln and, and Octavia and, and all the differences between, you know, sky people and, and, and the grounders and all that, I like that season. But this season, season 4, is actually has been really good. Uh, also, they didn't try, at least they didn't try to erase uh, Alexa from, from the story. They were, even though they were gonna get backlash, they still use Lexa in a way, they still remember her, they still honor her in a way, uh, you know, by saying um, uh, Lexa's legacy is still in play and all that, and with Ron, I hate that they killed Ron, but I mean, this is a hundred, someone needed to die. I uh, hated that they killed Luna as well. Um, but overall, the season has been entertaining to say the least. It was good, it has ups and downs. I bitch about some things as well, so you can go ahead and rewatch my reaction videos if you want. Um, but yeah. Anyways, the big mystery for season 3 is who the fuck are the ones who are dropping uh, to Earth, what's gonna happen to Clark and her daughter Mad Maddie. Can we call her her daughter? Because it, I, it made me feel like that relationship between them. She was really sweet. Wake up my night, Glida. And she, the other one was no more lessons today. And I'm glad that uh, she uh, kept talking to her in Grounder. So the Grounder language is not dead. Well, it's not gonna be dead because the 100 people, like 1200 people that are on the bunker, they still talk that. So um, we're gonna see what's gonna happen with them if they <laughs> kill each other inside. That will be... <laughs> really stupid. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's interesting, it's very interesting to have seen this ending. Uh, it, it does feel repetitive, but it was a really good episode. So, I'm not gonna keep rambling even though I already ranted for like 10 minutes or half an hour, I don't care. Um, hope you guys enjoy all my reaction videos. Uh, if you do, if you did, thumbs up this video. If you didn't yet, just go ahead and dislike the video. Uh, also, just please comment. Don't be rude, because I do block people who are rude, uh, because this is ultimately my channel. People that are rude when they insult me or other people, you do get blocked, so uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, but when you are polite enough and when you just state your mind without being aggressive towards me or towards some other people, then it's fine. Like, you can comment and, like, it's not like I'm saying use good language because you know that I, I like, say a lot of bad words during my reaction. So that's fine. That's not what I meant when I say rude. When I say rude is because people insult me or say some, like, really rude messages, send me really rude messages to me, especially in the 100. I don't have that problem with any other reaction, just with the 100. But it's still, it's a learning experience for me with the 100, how to handle myself uh, during my reaction videos and especially how to stay true to myself on this show because this is not for me, like, I could be, like, just a really terrible fan, like a Klexa fan, and just say, oh my god, I should be like, just to get likes and just to get views still like collective shippers they they don't watch the show anymore so I'm technically reacting for the Bolark fandom that still uh, st uh, it's uh, watching the show and to some people that like myself enjoy uh, um, science fiction and still enjoy the show and don't care about the relationships um, but it has been really interesting to react to this show, especially for me. I don't know if some other reactors have have had the same experience as me, uh, but it has been really interesting. Like, <laughs> like I have said, uh, navigating tour in this the hundred world by myself without, and I don't I haven't I have seen another Klexa shipper do it. I think yes, yes, yes. I have seen a couple Klexa shippers who have uh, still. Uh, reacted to the show, uh, but it has been really crazy. It has been really crazy to do reaction videos, but I have loved it. I have learned a lot, and I I'm proud of myself because I can still call myself a Glexa shipper, and uh, I mean I like I'm a Glexa shipper. I'm still proud of that, and I'm proud because I stay true to myself. I have always said what I think without caring 
how many dislikes I might get uh, and how many rude comments I might get I still stay true to myself and that is that is good for me yeah anyways thank you so much guys for joining me for this entire season of the hundred hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction video if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to see more reaction videos you can leave uh, like requests for reaction videos and I will do them uh, soon like you can recommend shows and I uh, I might watch watch them uh, and yeah that's about it thank you so much guys Mwah. see you next time bye.